Ace Abyss tank onto Honda CRF 300L 2021, but I don't think they've changed anyway. Let's get into it. Loosen off the rack. So I can take the seat off. Velcro. Little tank. I'll work out what I'm going to do with the fuel later. Okay, so just lifting the tank up, you'll see that we have got a fuel pump with a fuel hose leading from it. There we go, and we've got a smaller line there that's presumably a breather for something. I haven't done this before, just working it out. I don't want to damage this. And if there's a special tool, I ain't got it. They pop to the sides. So I finally did it. Basically a lot of fiddling around with that. Uh, weird thing was, no fuel's come out. Which kind of makes it uh, a bit nicer. Right, fuel tank, off-road use only. Yeah, right oh. Just put all these rubber bums in, two in the front, two in the back. Uh, they take a little bit of doing, but I'm sure you can do that, fiddle them in. Undo these four nuts. Just need to orientate it differently. If you swing off these, if you get your big long wrench on it and start tightening these, it is going to pull the brass inserts out of the plastic. Same as I normally do it when I'm tightening up bolts that I don't want to strip, hand near the shaft. Don't swing off the end of it got a lot less chance of knackering this if you've got some control by being nearer the pivot point I reckon that's it so just pop her up again so there's the fuel line it's on top of the um, throttle body and then I've got this little clip to keep it on. Now as regards getting that fuel hose back on and that little white clip back in to secure it, no way I could have done it with one hand. It took some wriggling um, and it's fairly, gen it's fairly fragile so you can't just yank it um, and I got a little pick in there and made sure that the prongs were seated properly and they weren't previously when I was trying to film it and then clicked them into place and well they they went they were fine then but there's no way I could have shown you I'd have needed such a tiny tiny camera you've just got to fiddle with that fuel hose until it goes on don't lose your patience don't force it when you're fastening the back down we've got some new additional little bushes that go so that you don't um, crush it up too far you see when you're putting the spacers back on the front of the tank they go on the inside can you see that okay so there's the metal spacer the the big wide bit is on the inside and there's the metal spacer sticking out and then you put the washer on the outside of that okay just because I like stainless now I've heard people talk about being poor, poor quality fit for Ace Abyss stuff 
and the IMS tank being better up. I can't see any problem with this. I really can't. All the holes line up, fits well, nothing bangs, nothing knocks. It's all good. Uh, I'm very happy with it. And that's it. It looks great. Dead happy with it. It is significantly bigger. You can see it's mainly up at the sort of top, obviously, because they can't make it much wider anywhere lower. Fits well. All the other panels fit on fine. It looks good quality. Um, I am looking forward to not having to stop at every single petrol station. One last thing. Uh, I just poured the fuel from that can into the tank. Now you saw it come out of this tank. This tank was full to the top. It went into that can and then went into here. Now there's a little bit left in the old fuel tank because you can't get it all out. But that's where it's up to. Not even halfway up. Oh, there you go. You can just see it swashing about there. That's how far, that's how much the original tank holds. If it's been any use to you, please hit the subscribe button. Won't cost you a penny, and I'll keep making these videos.